In this video, we'll use the LogoJet UV-X40R for demonstration purposes, but this video is applicable to the entire LogoJet R-Series family of printers. You should plan to set aside approximately 30 minutes to complete this full maintenance. The weekly maintenance will promote consistency in your printer's operation while maintaining top operating condition. We recommend performing weekly maintenance at the end of the production week, prior to the printer sitting idle. Before we get started, you will need safety glasses, rubber gloves, UV cleaning solution, isopropyl alcohol, 99% preferred, but 91% is acceptable, white lithium grease, lubricating oil, lint-free cloths, lint-free swabs, and a Phillips head screwdriver. Start by putting on gloves and safety glasses. Beginning with the printer power on and the printer driver software running, press the left arrow button on the control console to move the carriage to the center of the printer frame. Using the Z-axis keys, lower the printer bed enough to access the printhead. Inspect for any ink buildup on the front, sides, or back of the printheads. Set down a sturdy paper towel on the bed to catch any residue from the cleaning process. Then, carefully wipe around the printheads with alcohol and a lint-free cloth until the heads are free of any buildup. Next, use the UV cleaning solution or alcohol to clean all ink residue off the bottom of the print carriage. If using the UV cleaning solution, as demonstrated here, Wipe gently with alcohol and a clean cloth after using the UV cleaning solution to remove any solution residue. Next, we will inspect the bottom of the UV lamp. If the lens has ink on it, clean it with UV cleaning solution or 99% alcohol until the lens is clear. Again, if using UV cleaning solution, wipe clean again with alcohol to remove any residue. We will also inspect the UV lamp filter and replace if necessary. To do this, remove the four screws holding the cover of the carriage. If the filter shows any ink residue at all, remove the old filter and replace with new. A dirty lamp filter can block the flow of air and shorten the life of your UV lamp. UV lamp filters are included with your printer in the accompanying supplies briefcase. With the carriage cover off, we can also give a quick inspection to the dampers and ink lines to ensure that they are not leaking and that they are clean and free of defects. Now, we will clean the capping station seal with alcohol and a lint-free swab. Inspect the capping station seals for any cuts, tears, or other signs of wear. Replace if the cap top can no longer create an airtight seal with the printhead. Once clean, wipe with a dry swab or lint-free cloth to remove any excess alcohol. To the left of the capping station, you will find the printhead wiper blade. 
Clean the wiper blade with alcohol and a lint-free cloth or swab. Again, use a dry swab or lint-free wipe to remove any excess alcohol and wipe the area clean. Move the head to the original position by pressing the home button. Now we will check both waste bottles. There is one waste bottle inside the left front compartment of the printer and a second to the right rear of the printer. If either waste bottle is more than half full, it must be emptied. Remove the waste bottle carefully and use a paper towel to catch any ink that may drip from the drain line. Try to empty the bottles regularly to prevent backflow and reduce fume emissions. Waste ink should be disposed of in accordance with federal, state, and local guidelines for disposal of solvents, paints, and waste inks. Next, we will give the system a good wipe down and inspect for the system for proper lubrication of the carriage rail. You may use UV cleaning solution or alcohol to remove any excess ink or overspray from the print bed or chassis. In most cases, alcohol is sufficient. UV cleaning solution should only be used for difficult, persistent stains and may dull the finish of your printer. So always finish with alcohol to remove UV cleaning residue. Use a solution and lint-free cloth or heavy-duty towel to wipe down the bed, chassis, carriage, and rail. Inspect the encoder strip for any debris and gently wipe clean with a lint-free cloth. The capping and carriage home sensors are located to the right side of the capping station. Use a lint-free cloth to gently clean the capping station sensor, removing any dust or debris. Repeat the process for the carriage home sensor. After wiping the rail, reapply a small amount of oil to the rail. Use only a few drops on the rail, and then use the arrow keys on the control panel to move the carriage back and forth across the rail to distribute the oil evenly and ensure proper lubrication. If areas of the rail remain dry, you may add another drop or two to ensure the lubrication is consistent. Occasionally, you may find it necessary to apply a small amount of lubrication to some primary gears and mechanisms to assist in the system motion and eliminate any noise. This portion is not required weekly, only as needed if the system is making excess noise during bed or carriage motion. The x-axis drive system includes the belt and gears that are visible along the front and sides of the carriage rail. Apply a small amount of grease inside of the belt near the gear on the left side of the rail. Move the carriage to the left and repeat the process with the two gears on the right side of the rail. To lubricate the y-axis drive, Place a small amount of grease on the worm gear that runs front to back underneath the print bed. You may place a small amount of grease directly on the rail at the front and also on the back. The Z-axis drive gear is located inside of the right bottom compartment near the right side waste bin. Place a small amount of grease on the vertical drive shaft. Next, raise the bed to access the lower front panel. Remove this panel and you will see the full Z-axis drive belt. Place a small amount of grease inside of the belt in the front and back of the printer and also a small amount on the left side drive gear. Once your maintenance is complete, follow your typical shutdown procedure for the printer. For more information, assistance, or to order maintenance supplies, please contact LogoJet Technical Support.